Yok o tuvalete gideceği zaman bağırlandı. Here we go. Hello, bounty hunter. Welcome to Mr. Keeps. Thank you for your business. I know I look like I'm one of those G3 guys, but I am not in the G3. I'm like one of the few people of my species who did not join the G3. I'm, we, we call ourselves Merkeloids or Merkelids or what, I, can't, I literally can't remember the name of our species. But that's fine, I, it's not important. We're, we're literally cannon fodder. That's kind of what our species is. Everyone gets pressured into to joining the G3 and then they get killed. It sucks. And I don't want to be one of those, one of those dead cannon fodder types. I want to live my life. I'm not going to be peer pressured into joining a criminal organization. No way. I'm going to go hang out here in Blim City. But guess what? People are a little racist towards me because of all all the other people in my species are working for an evil organization. So now I got to deal with discrimination. If you can believe it. That sucks. It's not fun. Discrimination's not good. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Don't <laughs> discrimination sucks. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Maybe I'll have more to say if you come back. Yo, 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 what's up? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I'm happy to answer. I would just like to know why first. It's just important to me. I love finding out what everyone's favorite flavor of ice cream is. So what is it? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Interesting. Hmm. I'm never going to forget this. <laughs> it's going to be really important later. I'll tell you that much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Don't want to talk about ice cream. I understand. See you later. Hey, 
I'm gonna remember that. Your favorite flavor of ice cream. Remember, you told me. It's a whole big deal. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. I've never forgotten anyone's favorite flavor of ice cream. Never. I'd be a fucking fool to forget that. So thanks. You confided in me, and all I have to do is remember that. people who were mad at me for this. Uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here so I don't get killed. And there you have it. Uh, Jake the turtle fucker has just left the building. Uh, Jake is part of the religion where he believes that when you die, you pass on and uh, go to the realm of pixie dust and fairy lands where everything's happy and nice and you can fuck all the turtles you want. You know what's funny? The best of all worlds. Jesus Christ, don't worry. member of this species coming here to tell you that I want to fuck another species you see 20 years ago my whole species died off in a nuclear war and I haven't been fucked this guy because I have this weird genital if you have something that is compatible with my little thing if you want to look at it real quick I'll show it to you from all angles here you see it this way now good Bet you're looking for Globo, huh? You, you bet you want to hear him drum, don't you? Yes, where's Globo? Where is he? Please, I really want to hear him drum badly. Well, try to wrap your head around this. He got signed to Blobbity Bloop's Records, and he landed a big gig on a late-night TV show here, and this could be his big break. And it's all because of you. We all knew he was going to be a big star, and you took the time, and God damn it, oh, we're just so excited. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for him. That's the most beautiful story I've ever heard. You know what? Fuck everybody who made fun of him for farting out of his face. Globo's gonna be huge. I mean, this is a... You're, you're looking at the next, uh, 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 uh D Davey Wilson. Globo's got the sweetest heart. I I'm so glad everyone's gonna finally get to hear what he's got on the inside. And not just the disgusting wet fart sounds he makes. Globo, famous. I just can't believe it. I always knew, but I just can't, I still can't believe it. Oh, I hope Globo mentions me when he's on TV. Took you long enough to use me again? Jesus! Oh, you look like you're hungry for some food. Wink, wink. I can help. Wink, wink, wink. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Good choice! Excellent! Excellent! Good day to you, food customer! It wasn't even about the money or the fame for you. That's right. It was only about fucking the turtles. Were the turtles like you were being fucked? Oh my god, yeah, I, I added in my contract. I don't want to fuck any turtles that don't want to get fucked. Hey, this the nice moves! Let's do this shit. <laughs> there you have it, uh, Yo, bounty hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu.
Gary and Jill were up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell in love and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Dispatch 146. We have a 1052 double VOA call at the Dickinson Farm. Repeating dispatch 146. We have a double VOA 1052 call at the Dickinson Farm. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Come one, come all, come marvel at the mysteries of the cosmos. Decided to take a look, have we? How fortuitous. fortuitous. Before, Before you lies the, the mythical Zephyr Star Whale. Whale. Some, Some say this mythical being pollinated the land with its mighty Star Whale seed, which supposedly gave way to all life on Zephyr. That's the myth, but I know the truth. An old guy named Steven did it. He just jizzed everywhere a few thousand years ago and sort of just uh, became a god for this planet, I guess. The progenitor of all Zephyr life including mites, burglars, and moplets. So good for Stephen. All hail Stephen. Ah, just thinking about him makes me all misty-eyed. Oh, okay, thank you. That's, that's great. En enough, that's enough for us. Woo! <laughs> 
I know everyone's happy, but we did kill a lot of children in the... Power slide, baby! miniature towns like these. They're very popular these days. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Cutie Hubie, and it's my great pleasure to introduce you to Little Cutie Town. <laughs> We're a nice, peaceful society full of cute little one-inch tall guys who love each other and only know how to be nice. We welcome all strangers with open arms and a full heart. I'm so, so glad you found your way to our sweet little slice of heaven. Please, we all hope you enjoy your time here. Go on, step inside. Trust me. Oh my god! Oh no, 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 Oh my god, this is, this sucks so much. You're just walking around knocking down buildings. Oh no, 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 no. I hate seeing everyone I love die. Oh no, there goes Cutie Steven. You just stepped on Cutie Steven. Oh, you're destroying our historic monuments. Oh my god, that's Little Cutie Town Hall. That's where our founding fathers signed the original peace treaty that us little cuties have lived by for centuries. No bloodshed, no violence, just perfect cute little lives to Void of any disaster until today, you monster! Oh my god, this is. Ah, that was our power plant, our nuclear power plant. Totally safe, by the way, until you came and triggered a nuclear reaction. It just wiped out the entire neighborhood. Hundreds of happy families dead in an instant, and the radiation will linger for decades, killing anything that tries to grow there. 
Oh my god, this is this sucks so much. You're just walking around knocking down the Oh no, you just crushed our hospital. We have a state-of-the-art health care program here in little cutie town where everyone gets treated for free. That hospital was full of sick people in need and now they're all dead. Oh my god, this is this sucks so much. You're just walking around knocking down buildings. Oh no, 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 no. I hate seeing everyone I love. Oh no, there goes Cutie Steven. You just stepped on Cutie Steven. You didn't even realize it because you're so big. You just step on my friends and it doesn't even register to you. Oh no. Cutie, okay, that's it. That's my whole, my whole town. My whole little Cutie Town's ruined. You've ruined the whole city and all my friends are dead. I'm the only last little cutie alive and I am going to kill myself, I guarantee it. As soon as you walk away, I'm gonna be so depressed I just pop a gun in my own head and I die. I'm just gonna fucking die. How's that sound? No more living for me. I don't wanna be alive. My whole town and home is gone and dead and you did it, it's your fault. I know I invited you in, but you should have realized you're so big, you're gonna ruin things. You should have told me. I didn't think about it, I'm kinda of dumb sometimes, but you're you're not as dumb as me, I, I assume, so you should have said, hey, I'm not going to go in there. I don't want to stomp on shit like a big Godzilla. Not for me. Not, my, not what I want to do with my life. I don't want to go kill everybody. That's what you should have said. Instead, you just did it. You walked in and you knocked over entire buildings. Everyone's dead now. I am, I am so sad. I'm so fucking sad right now. I know that I, I mostly I'm just yelling. But if you, if you let me just calm down for a second, which I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna calm down right now. I am so fucking sad. I'm so fucking depressed now. Do you have a, can, just shoot me. Shoot me with your gun. Go ahead and shoot me so I die, so I don't have to kill myself. Just do me that favor. Just take me out of my misery. I don't want to be, I don't want to be alive if everyone else I know is dead. This is survivor's guilt. You ever hear that when somebody goes to fight in a war and all the friends die and then they come back they're like, why me? Why did I live? I, I should have died. Why me instead of them? Well, guess what, pal? That's what I'm feeling right now. And I don't have the money to spend on any more therapy. So just pop, pop me in the head. Go ahead. Just squish my head like a grape with your gun. Please, just pop, pop me. Come on, I want to die. I want to die. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Shoot me. I am totally ready to go. I, I, what am I going to do? Just hang out here in a broken city? I'm going to hold my friend's corpses and say, Oh, I miss you. I love you so much and now you're dead. No, I'm not going to fucking do that. I just want to die. Come on. Come on, kill me. Come on, do it. A movie, huh? We've earned it. Let's take a seat. Here we go, it's starting. So guys, what are we watching today? I don't know, it's just a black screen right now. Oh. But I'm, I'm very, uh, very anxious. What does it say, Rich? It says, demon... 
wind. Demon wind. Oh, I can hear wind. That's the demon wind. Are you sure it's not an unrelated wind? Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, my grandfather went the exact same way. Oh, they got burnt down across in 1931. It was a lot more common back then, right? Uh, I don't know. All those lawn <laughs> crucifixions. <laughs> I've seen this, of this film movie before. we haven't watched? I, I've seen the film before, uh, uh, 14 different times. Oh my god, you've seen Demon Wind 14 times. Yes, and you guys have. have so this not. has to be really good then. Well, I no, can't wait. I, I've watched it 14 times so I can figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm sorry, what was that? I wasn't listening. Having a fireplace made out of cardboard and, and paper doesn't seem like the best idea. Jesus was always my favorite family member. So what relation is Jesus? That's our Uncle Jesus. <laughs> Great Uncle Jesus. Jesus, it, ironically, all of his photos are in color. But all the people born in 1931, all their photos are in black and white. I don't know how they achieved this technological <laughs> achievement marvel. Would it hurt you to smile, Grandma? You're in demon wind. Your career is going places. Uncle Jesus, the college years. Oh, it's my favorite song, Washed in the Blood of the Lamb by Styx. That's what you got? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they like their candles, I guess. Uh, and their wicker baskets. They love the Jesus. The, the Jesus protects the house, when, it, except for the fact that he doesn't protect the house. Candles, glass jars, religious photos, wicker baskets. Oh, now I know where my thrift store got all of its merchandise. That's what you got? Oh my god, this is the worst Thanksgiving ever. No one showed up. The one guy that did show up, they burned on a cross. Help me, Jesus, I'm watching Demon Wind. It's kind of funny, they, they, they've got all, this religious, all these religious pictures, you know? Oh, they have all these pictures of Jesus, but they never once, like, mentioned Jesus in any of their spells. It's not religious, you know, towards the end, Jay. We've oh, seen you've, you've seen this movie I've before? I've seen this movie before. Really. Oh. And Jay. I've so you paid it. to see it again in a theater, huh? Yeah, I did. That's... Well, that means it's got to be good, right? I, I, I'm assuming so. Yeah, we'll find out. spend all their money on the Jesus pictures. Oh. Those boards are nailed to the door. That literally does nothing. You know what I mean? Do, do you know what I'm saying, Rich? I know what you're saying. They're just nailed to the door. They're not, they're not keeping the... Oh, I guess a, a little bit goes on the floor. A couple of them are over there. Okay, I take keep you from pulling the door out. But you know what? In my personal experience, if a demon wants to get in your house, nothing's going to stop it. You know? Getting stronger. Tell you that? He did. Did you bring the daggers yeah. and the diary? You always told me you liked my cooking. He's just uh, having a diet. Okay, bag. yeah, I'm done with this. To her Christmas cookies. <gasps> this is what happens when Rich eats fish. Well, that was great. That was the best movie I've ever seen.
there. You gotta fix our pipes fast. Oh, oh yes, please help us. Oh yes, fix them. I gotta take a big duty. And I'm just gonna get this turd out of me and stat. All right, well, I guess we're officially helping with this. Thanks so much for helping with this. I can't wait to eat my buddy's shit. Oh God, yeah, you're almost there. Oh, you're gonna do it. Oh man, you're so close. And so am I. You're a genius. How'd you get so good at solving shit-eating puzzles? Well, they're really just pipe puzzles. Is the pipe puzzle too hard? Oh no, this is a disaster. How else am I gonna eat this shit? for shit. Oh, there's not that many pieces. Guys, this, oh, come on. This is like a kid's puzzle. We put this one in for kids. We needed like an easy puzzle so the kids could do it. And so we came up with this whole little premise that I gotta take a duty into my friend's mouth and there's just like a few pieces of pipe. This shit's for fucking kids. You're taking forever. Holy crap. Oh, oh, you're taking too long. You're edging my colon. Love this damn jetpack. No, I'm not shooting this one. Consequences that you've unleashed upon the galaxy. Good luck. Good luck. Everyone in a game makes a choice. This is one of those story games where little decisions mean big impacts later. Who knows what NPCs will die because you let me shit into the pipes into my friend's mouth. You're a real savior unless this is set into motion some kind of terrible outcome. You'll never know. I guess you'll have to play this again and choose not to let me shit into my friend's mouth. And maybe you won't hear the song. Oh no, replayability. Mm, goodbye.
fantastic. You've decided to take a look around Little Cutie Town. Oh, I'm so excited for you to see everything Little Cutie Town has to offer. <laughs> Jesus, I wasn't sure if you were gonna actually kill him. Poor guy. You know, maybe it was the right thing to do. Power slide! seen in his sitcoms a huge hit on the one channel you watch oh my god that guy's jokes were fucking awful but his body made me laugh so hard i'd go back i don't think the comedian was very funny but uh, i did really get a few laughs out of watching his body i couldn't believe it i went there as a skeptic i left as a believer oh my god i came there i grunted right. was angry faced oh, but he got me <laughs> you better be laughing at my jokes I'm not an animal, I'm a flimpy dimpy doo! You can only see him this month at Grizzles Hootin's Joke Hole. Hello! Thank you for not changing the channel. Alright, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. Yes, I have tried everybody now. Really nice to see you again, partner. You been hiding from me? It's not a problem. Hey, we're asking you some questions. Do you know Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. We're not gonna stop having sex. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> good luck. 
I guess. Hope you find them. Who does Clark think he is? Yeah, I've got wrinkly skin and I fuck all the time. I'm allowed! What? That's fine. Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you make him nervous with his interrogation. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. And we're old. Get over it, fucker. Are you tired? Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it. I promise. Well, now there's a new solution. This company that I'm representing here in this commercial has everything you need. You there. Yeah, you slick. Tell us what you know about Dr. Giblets. Slick? What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Quit the, the drug guys. No! Any fucking ties of the evil drug conglomerate? I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? How you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. Sure. You're doing great. Uh, what's this about, can I I'm, ask? I'm uh, actually having a very good day. I found a 20 peso well, on the Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. No, no, just But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? Anything, like, exciting coming up? I was up playing in... snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Uh, hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest well, in no, people. I that That's admirable. Thing was kind of exciting, you know, maybe more exciting than this show usually gets. So I just figured I'd share. Shh, hey, nothing. quiet! Really Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, normal. but Blordo can. Mention my name, well, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. Have a good day. But no cracks right, about my well, name. I will. I'll try my best. Might be a might be a bad day. Most. Uh, be a yeah. One, 
Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Still actually pretty good. Holy shit. Wow. We actually got something we can use. Okay. That was an A rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. All right, Blordo. We need the hookup on Dr. Giblets. Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? You got a problem with us asking for Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead. See? Was that so fucking hard? You know, we had to talk to a bunch of losers just to get you to open up. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S-rank interrogation. No, 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 don't go, don't go. I want to talk to you about this. What, what, what? What, what, what is there to talk about? I, I, I like it. What do you mean you like it? I like it. Oh, man, I could do this all day. Oh, look at this. Suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums. Just because High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. They're all sheeple, you know. A bunch of mindless fanboys and drug addicts. But hey, what's the difference, am I right? Come on, I'm doing really great social commentary over here. You wanna go to the Hyperbong Midnight Lunch too? So you're a sheeple, just like them. Hey, pal, whatever floats your boat. I'm sure the crowd will die down soon, too. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Yeah, yeah, have a good day. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody hey, wants to talk to the broken leg guy. Around for giblets. Well, the torgs are with the oh, you're G3 back. Now. Do you need so somebody to go with you? Knows where, where to... Wait. Oh, shit. It's you. The bounty hunter's back. Everyone, get him. <laughs>
Squabble. The cat we killed all the guys. It was fun to do. We're trying to solve a mystery, so you gotta kill guys. Finally brought me out again. Well, what did I offend you or something earlier? You know, look, the slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing over here.
my own life. Or I will scream. I can scream real, real, real loud. This is not. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules apply to the law. I'm a big Hyperbomb fan. I love buying Hyperbomb. Life store number 7923. Your local. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm pseudo, by the way. You know me. Dude, go away. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit, pseudo. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fixed. Illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyperbongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. You know him, though, right? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detected. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Jesus, enough with all these fucking weirdos hassling us. Fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the fuck were they on about? Still ahead. Give me some space. Ouch! I'm fragile. My head hurts. Be careful. If you I touch don't... me again, I'll sue you. Yes. Yikes, we got a trample victim. Hey, dead nerd trampled to death. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes. 
got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. I know you're thinking it, so I'm just gonna say it. We gotta loot that dead guy's corpse, get his mag boots, and climb out of here. Take his bag boots. No problem. Yeah, that's fine. Could totally take those mag boots. Why are you looking at me like that, bounty hunter? He's dead. He's not using them anymore. Hey, sick moves. You're making good use of those mag boots. Company. Hello there. Oh, hey, you guys were really funny earlier. Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because... ...to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, 
Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. We get to meet a famous guy? So? You're gonna step through the portal door and go see Clug, or what? Sorry about that. Clug asked if he could send them over. I didn't know they'd be so weird. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hello. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really gonna help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Oh, that's a good idea. I think we were already gonna do that. But then we hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. You're being hard to understand. Just tell us where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then you want us to, you know. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Wow, look! That's gonna be helpful, thank you! Get out of here. You're town. doing great work. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. Make like a tree and leaf, a leaf. Make like a, you know. I caught one of those human movies recently, The Godfather. Holy moly, Stromboli, that movie was good. Bam, boom, Francis Ford Coppola, he's back, baby. Make like a tree and get out. This is where our dad works. He's a really hard worker. Someday all this will be ours. But not soon. He should only live and be well. How about this office, huh? This is where our dad works. Someday it'll be where we work. Well, that's not how politics works, but you get the idea. I'd like to put my feet on that desk. Not yet, but genetics occasionally skips a generation. We may not look like him, but we like him. You ever had a man die your hands? What's this? What did we just pick up? Oh, right. Sorry. The map data to get to Dr. Giblets. Forgot. I'm on the same page now. You know, we've been tailing you for a while. How'd it go? I think really good. Clug may or may not have shown us where Dr. Giblets is. I'm a little confused, as usual. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. I get out there and kill Giblets. I know I did, because these dang human movies are so scary. Did you know humans eat food? It's true, I'm not... 
That's cool.
Okay, relax. We're gonna die in here. Let's just accept it. Thank God, thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. We stumbled across another body. It looked like a classic case of... Hey, what happened to you? A G3 face warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A G3 face. That can only mean one thing. Not sure what, though. Oh, God. Oh God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Do they still have a chance of survival? Who's to say? No way to know. Not even with all the blood and half their body missing. We weren't going anywhere until it was over. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. And I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. And just like that, another candle is snuffed out in the wind. So cool. Hello again. Hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You, you promised me to stay with me until I, until I, hey, hey, thanks for coming back. Are you fine now? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Oh, I'm dying. No, I'm actually, oh, not uh, for real this time, though. Oh, my God. Oh, stay. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me. Thank you. Oh, here, here I go. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. He died twice. That's so much sadder than just dying once. Hey, hey, what the fuck? You left me again. I'm, I'm not dead yet, assholes. Oh, if you leave me again, I swear to God I'm gonna kill myself. Let's not be rash. If you died, I'd go completely crazy. Oh, whoops, whoops, never never mind. I, 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 I'm really I'm really dying now. Now this, oh, for real, this, the, but this time is the real one. Oh, good, good, I can feel it. Oh, fuck. Oh, this really hurts. Good, 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 bye. bye. Oh, oh. This is breaking my heart. Let's go. I don't want to think about it anymore. Hey, hey guys, I'm still alive. You need to come back. I, I'm, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I, I don't think I'm going to die. But I am so disappointed in you for leaving me in my time of need when you explicitly promised you wouldn't. I'm just glad you're okay. That's the only thing that matters. Oh, no, wait. I, I'm dying for real now. Oh, 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 my God. Oh. You think he's really actually dead now? I really can't tell. It could go either way at this point. Oh shit. I guess he really did find. Y you still alive, man? Y you're not just pranking us or something, right? Uh, I, I guess. I guess. I guess it's. I guess. I guess it's. That's that then. Hey, guess what? I'm still alive. Don't leave me. Are you fucking kidding? Okay, never mind. I'm dying now. This one is... You had to do it. You, you had to put him out of his misery. It's really like broken leg, you know? It, it, do you understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg?
Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets's base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine! Oh, that's uh, a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives, because we need a good mystery to solve. Now go scan stuff! Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right then, let's, let's keep moving. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry. Wrong bit. Wrong bit. I mean, how do they are detectives? Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. There's gotta be an off switch for this guy somewhere. Or unplug him. I don't know. Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. Alright, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! That's a beautiful slide. That is just the most amazing slide I've ever seen in my life. That is a beautiful slide. All right, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what, science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Geez, it looks like Dr. Dublitz was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Is that the Gatlin we're looking for? They look a little busted to me. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of, did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows, let's find out. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. 
And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait a minute, so you had us do all that shit for nothing? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. In the end, Dr. Giblets took the easy way out. A little disappointing because I was looking forward to a fight. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblet's status report, no life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello, if you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come, and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. Okay, shit yes. We do get to fight. Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in here, falling prey to my glorious science you ever so jealous. recordings.
this, you're taking a long time to fight this wave. Or die, you can also die.
Deadly poison gas, or is that just me?
that I'd made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself. I killed myself. Finally. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Oh, that's dark. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. Wow, okay, good, 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 good work. Uh, I think we can get back out through the trapdoor now. You dumb fuck guns do this. <laughs> As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians. But now, I see how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however, humans are going to change everything. The G3 was working with some shady creeps, man. Let's do it! He was famous on Gatlas. Fuck, that's bad. Look at him just hanging there. I hate to say it, but he might be a goner. Let's take him to Gene and see if he can help. I just wanted to say, you know, to... They really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, that's so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye! Oh, thank God! Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus, you find that detective mode, you shut it the fuck off! Never again, okay? I'm serious! Just delete it, just delete it! And if we, if you can't do it, we, we, we go, we go to, you know, we, it's a whole mission. It'll be a whole DLC mission. Whoa, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See, it's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go. Come on over, let's bow wow. Okay. You, uh, you seen Merv? Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit. That's great. I, I I I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's he's not really functional. I, I don't I don't I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix him. Okay. Th th thanks, Gene. But, you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Come on, get your shit settled before we talk. Go ahead, turn in the bounty. You think it's funny making the wait? What is this? Some kind of weird edging thing? Turn in the damn bounty already. Okay. You, uh, you seen Merv? Uh, no. Uh, why don't you come in? It's cold. He, uh, he took off as soon as we got home. Okay. Come on over. 
Let me give you the news. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right. Which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right. Here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, this is pretty embarrassing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. Uh, why don't you come in? It's cold. He, uh, he took off as soon as we got home, but when I checked his cabin, he disappeared. Uh... Okay, listen, just, just, it's easy. Put the other Gatlians down next to Gene, and let's get out of here and look for Liz. Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's, and we're, we're, let's find your sister. All right, guns. No funny business while the bounty hunter's away.